We use these kinds of products every day, from cleaning tabletops to personal hygiene and health. These brands are made by one company called Reckitt, and the industry to get them from factories to our homes is fast moving and comes with a big impact on the planet. Not huge, but important that we look at that carbon footprint and think, how are we going to reduce it, decarbonise it? The product carbon footprint, that's everything from the raw materials all the way through to people using products, has to come down by 50% by 2030. That's going to take longer process. That's where we have to think not just about our factories, but the ingredients that we use, the packaging that we use. To work out how they can meet targets, the company is turning to a digital replica of everything they do through a programme called Resilience. So this is it. This is the digital twin. This is Resilience. This is Resilience's um, version of, of different companies. We map them as a digital twin. We're looking at the data from a pretend company, but the programme is bringing together lots of information, such as the miles that individual ingredients are shipped or how much energy each factory uses. It then runs lots of scenarios over the company to see how sustainable it is now and in the future. We've got a, a large team of analysts who compile a lot of data, forecast out into the future, look at how policy is likely to change in different countries of the world and how taxes are likely to change. The Digital Twin is also helping firms map the impact climate change is already having on their operations. So this is an example of its factories in the United States and how they might be subjected to uh, future patterns of hurricane risk. And look at how often it's going to get disrupted, the cost to the business of that particular thing. And then a company can then start to make changes in the laboratories here. They can work on a new product, put it into the programme and, and find out if it will make a difference. Exactly, yes. So that's where we're heading next, safety goggles on, as I've been given rare access to the room where the next big thing in cleaning could be on the verge of discovery, and where they're also adjusting existing product lines. We changed one of the ingredients, so it now uses lactic acid. And that's plant-based, and it has a lower carbon footprint. And so we looked at what Resilience was telling us about where carbon footprints and maybe carbon tax in the future will affect us, and we thought, what are the ingredients we can change? And by moving to lower carbon ingredients, things like lactic acid, which is developed from fermenting maize, we were able to reduce the carbon footprint, and that means it's set up for the future, a low carbon, low water economy. Reckitt aren't the only ones turning to this tech. There are estimates the market for digital twins could be worth billions of dollars over the next decade. But having all the data on sustainability is one thing. Companies need to act on it. I think when a lot of people hear about big companies and sustainability, they probably roll their eyes because big companies are out to make money. But what is the balance there between being more sustainable and, and still bringing pounds in? Well, the key here is how we can decarbonise and still grow. So if we can achieve our ambition to be net zero by 2040, we can grow as well. And that decouples those two, those two topics. It could be years before we know if the decisions companies are making now will really help the planet. This tech is making that a little bit less of a gamble. <laughs>